the research area knowledge technology we are interested in building intelligent systems very often we find good examples in nature and in the brain and therefore we build neural networks for vision language and cognitive robotics In order to improve the interaction between humans and robots, it's important that we give them the ability to better understand the way we communicate. So my work is related to the development of artificial systems that analyze and learn visual-based um, human communication in terms of gestures, body actions and behaviors. I'm working in the application area of gesture recognition and especially um, vision-based gesture recognition, that means I'm using different sensors like uh, the Kinect or the camera of a humanoid robot like the NOW. For the modeling I'm using recurrent neural networks because I focus on uh, dynamic gestures. Basically understanding sound in, in noisy environments has been uh, a challenging task for many years. A sound-related problem can also be approached with the use of other senses like vision. So, uh, as well, that's one of the big advantages when working with human and robots that we can integrate the sensory input from different senses and try to solve problems that so far have been very difficult to approach. Try to find me, Aika. Where am I located around you? Very good, Aika. We have created this new master program, Intelligent Adaptive Systems, two years ago to address the need for students that can create intelligent systems that go well beyond the robots and computer systems we know today. We are happy that we now have over 30 students from all over the world that together with our German students create a very exciting and interesting multicultural learning environment here at the university. because it has um, so many courses in the areas which I like, especially machine learning and bio-inspired techniques. Mm -hmm.